Sagittarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. Um, it's what I normally do bi-weekly, but I'm introducing it uh, as a weekly uh, video for you guys. Um, so, same layout, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Sag, so do check out your replacements, your Moon, your Rising, Venus, any Stellium you have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, it all helps the channel grow, it's much appreciated. And um, details of private reads are in the description box. Also in the description box is a link to my new Instagram um, channel. Many people have asked that they would prefer to see the cards, however with my layout it's not really possible, so I've started to take photos of the spreads afterwards, pop them on there so people can see. So please follow me on there. Okay, so Three more. What's coming up? The Nine of Swords. Okay, you're up in your head about something. There's an element of anxiety around you. Could just be overthinking. Let's see, something you're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Recent past. Immediate future. Potential outcome. The strength, the high priestess, four of pentacles, the page of cups and the eight of pentacles. Okay. If there's financial struggles at the moment, there's a real need to believe in the strength that you possess. Use your intuition, listen to your intuition. Um, keep keep working away. Keep ploughing away. There's definitely an anxiety around you. Um, such something that's kind of almost reminiscent of the black dark night of the soul but I kind of feel like this is a repeat of a cycle for you there's, there's, there's kind of something that you need to do and I can't think what it is at the moment but there's a real opportunity to completely transform and rebirth here what you're aware of is the ace of wands for me, this could be an opportunity. This is a creative spark. This is a beginning of something. I'm also looking at the third eye being on fire here. So your intuition's like really kind of burning away. And to a point, it may even be keeping you up. But it's like the universe is saying you need to do something. You need to pack your bags. What you're not aware of is the Seven of Wands. You're going to be protected throughout this period. You know, it's as if the universe has put you in a bowl. So don't worry about what comes next. I'm almost getting like, just pack your bags type of thing. In the recent past, it's the sun. This is enlightenment. This is um, being joyous. There's... I'm kind of thinking more like enlightenment. You could have a um, strong Leo in your chart. I'm just looking at the strength at the bottom of the deck, right next to the sun card here as I'm facing it. There's... Yeah, I kind of feel like you're getting major, major downloads of some kind enough to actually kind of worry you. I'm getting like strong downloads coming from the universe, the third eye on fire, this strong high priestess energy. Um, but it's almost been that it's too much for you. It's not, because the immediate future is the ten of wands. This is that packing the bags. This is taking that ace of wands, that idea that you've got that's not in the suitcase, and keeping hold of that while you pack up the rest. 
I don't know what it is. It could be a creative idea that you're just worried about putting out there. It could be um, something that your intuition is burning away at you, telling you to do something, but you've not been doing it and it's keeping you in a stuck energy here. I kind of feel like the advice is to, to pack your bags, whatever, whatever that means to anybody. Um, it's, it's time. It's like it's time. Something like that. Because the outcome is death. And rebirth. Complete destructive destruction of ego and a rebirthing. Interesting Sachi. What's going on? Ten of Cups is jumping up. Could be worried about family. The Star, the Five of Wands, the Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles. There's some deep healing going on, internal battles within you. Um, there could be some major worries about finances here. Um, but incidentally we've got the King of Pentacles and it's right next to the Ace of Wands. So this Ace of Wands that you know about, this idea, this spark, this creativity that you've got is going to get the, to the King of Pentacles level. Current energy is Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. This is some deep worry about a financial situation of some kind, or being left out in the cold. I kind of feel like the message here is just keep working, because the opportunities are going to come. What you're aware of is the Ace of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. So there's potential collaborations coming for um, this whatever this project is. What you're not aware of is a Seven of Wands with a Queen of Wands. You are protected. This is you, I kind of feel. Um, very intuitive with the black cat here. Um, the universe has got you protected. The universe has got you back. So whatever this thing that you're worried about is, and I know it's easier said than done, but there's a real need to relax. Kind of, I want to say trust the process because that's uh, another thing that's easier said than done. I kind of feel like you just need to dive into really producing whatever this Ace of Wands energy is. The recent past is the Sun with the Knight of Cups. Okay. Knight of Cups could be somebody that's come in with an offer of love. Um, I kind of think this could possibly be an idea as well, or a project. Um, could also be a helping hand with it the knight offering the cup here. There's, that's what it is. There's help out there. There's help out there, but you don't see it. You're blind to it at the moment. Or you have been in the recent past. It's like the offer is coming, but you just don't see it. And I kind of feel like you don't see it because you're in this energy. And again, easy said than done shifting that, but just got to believe that you're protected. In the immediate future is the Ten of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. So just keep working on this Ace of Wands, what you've got in your hand. Um, you, may, you may have to relocate for work, possibly. Um, but just keep doing what you're doing. Keep producing the work that you're doing. Because the outcome is the death, the rebirth with the High Priestess. I kind of feel like it's just complete transformation in your spiritual path your um the magician the magician is wonderful powerful can manipulate energies using the tools he's got this one can do it with her mind 
this is the capabilities that you've got Sagittarius and don't get caught up in genders, I say he, she uh, we'll have masculine and feminine gen energies but this is a chance to rebirth yourself into somebody that is so powerful that you can do things with your mind you don't need the tools that the magician does you can literally do this with your mind so whatever energy you're in at the moment pick yourself up, <laughs> dust yourself off um, and really keep producing because you've got a, a, a real rebirth coming in the future okay all right, Sagittarius, you could have in your chart or be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. But we've got cups, we've got pentacles, we've got wands. Many swords. Yeah, four of swords. Oh, I thought, thought I was going to be one of those moments we didn't have something. Now, there you go. So yeah, let me know if it resonates. Keep producing your work. And um, yeah, watch out for uh, the rebirth, the rise of the phoenix. Okay, look after yourself. Thank you. Uh, thank you for following the channel. I'll see you soon. Bye.